Thank you very much. It's a great honor for me to uh, participate, dear Madam President Mariam Rajavi, and dear sisters and brothers in Ashraf and in Iran and around the world. I am really happy and grateful to participate in this impressive gathering uh, of participants from all over the world uh, to honor the resistance international conference purpose, like every year. I attended the first day of this conference yesterday, and I realized that yesterday the Free Iran Conference was one of the most fantastic resistance programs, as we had about 50,000 locations around the world with the participation of hundreds of thousands of people joining these smaller events. Especially when we have guests and speakers uh, at the highest level uh, who participate, such as the former U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and also uh, the Prime Minister of Slovenia, Janusz Jansha. It is important to know that Slovenia is currently chairing the European Union uh, this term. And uh, I also observed in the news that the Mullah regime in Iran is now very angry that this level of politicians from def different countries have participated among hundreds of thousands of participants. So the Mullah regime has made its own threats. Of course, this is not far from Khamenei's regime's attitude. But this time, in parallel with the progress of activities of the resistance cells inside Iran, the regime will continue to conspire, whether in the field of terrorism against the resistance or threats against the foreign people who support this resistance. A man called Ebrahim Raisi, who executed 30,000 thousands of prisoners in 1988, was appointed the new president of Iran by Khamenei. Because of the dire situation of the dictatorial regime, we are committed to supporting the overthrowing of the regime by Mujahideen and the Ansari as soon as possible. And we believe that this day is not far away. Of course, this is about democracy in Iran. And I have seen many times the regime strategy abroad, which is to establish NGOs for democracy. So in the United States, for instance, there is an NGO called Iranians for Democracy. We have the Persian Women for Peace, Iranians for Human Rights. And we have heard from the regime saying that we don't send out agents. We send them out as writers, as journalists and human rights activists. So don't be fooled by these people. They are highly paid agents for the Iranian regime. And uh, we have seen also how the president, um, the so-called president, is in a completely wrong place. He should, from my point of view, have been in the International Criminal Court in The Hague. And uh, we know that Iran is not only a member of, of Interpol, the international crime investigative organization, um, but also they have signed on the International Criminal Court uh, Treaty. It has not been ratified yet, but, in, but Iran has, as a government, they have uh, agreed to the foundation of the International Criminal Court. And now they have a president who should be one of the first to be sent to The Hague. And I will congratulate um, President Mariam Rajavi uh, with her efforts to bring uh, democracy, freedom, and human rights to Iran. And we all believe this will be in the near future. Hazer, 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 I'm ready. Thank you very much.